All right, here's the Millie bag from Joe Totes. You see, really quick, just came in today. There's the Joe Totes tag. And since my camera's inside the bag, I thought I'd videotape to show you what the Millie bag looks like. So on the back, we've got this pocket. You can see right now, I've got my phone in there. Probably fit something else if you wanted, but I just didn't want it popping out too much because I'm about to go take some pictures, actually. I um, already added on the, the strap because this thin one will probably dig into my shoulder when I go out, so this will help a lot. Um, the catch is actually on the bottom of the bag, if you see that. Let me open up the top. We've got a front pocket right there. And right now my Kindle is inside of it. So they say e-reader on the website, and that's true. My Kindle fits right in there. Um, right now I've just got my Nikon D40 in there, if you can see that. Come on. Got a wallet, and a pretty big wallet at that. So if you minimize your wallet size, I think you get a lot more space out of it. And I have sunglasses too. And you can see I have an extra pad right now because I'm waiting for a new lens in June. But so hold on. We've got the Nikon D40 that fits in there really well. So right now, that's as much space. I would say if you have more than one extra lens you want to carry around, I don't think this would be the right bag. But there's a decent amount of space, and just for day-to-day -day use, which is what I use my camera for, I think it'd be really good. So if you're just going around taking pictures of your kid at like the park, or for instance today I'm going to take pictures of my college graduate friends on the quad, I think it'd be a really good use. But to sum up, that's the Millie bag, and I hope that helps all you guys that are still making decisions.